Hey guys, uh, welcome back to another video. Uh, it's a day of burning bushings and burning rubber. Um, it smells like rubber. Uh, I just poured some gasoline on some of those uh, bushings uh, for the soft frame as well as the little control arms. I was trying to, uh, uh, I met it yesterday using an air hammer trying to push those uh, bushings out of the lower control arms, but I, they're just crispy. Uh, the, all the bushings are so crispy that everything is getting bent and nothing wants to come out. So what I'm going to do now is just burn them and then hope that it actually uh, helps loosen the insides a little bit. And then uh, I will go ahead and um, uh, try to see if I can get uh, get it all cleaned up and out. So right now I just put some gas on a couple of this, a couple of the bushings and trying to burn them. Uh, it's the best method that I've used in the past and worked. Uh, so see how well it'll do for me uh, for my car. And then uh, I do need to light up the fire on a couple of those bushings right now. So uh, as I'm looking at it, so keep you guys uh, updated on this uh once i get it all burned up i'll show you guys uh, how to install the bushings uh but for starters this is how many of us have taken all bushings out so <clears throat> this is still burning i got three of them I should say two of them left to burn uh one of them is almost cleaning up a little bit and then uh when you're done with it, it should look like this. Uh, I cleaned this up a little bit with the wire brush. I still got more to clean. As you can see, there's a little bit of rubber on there. Um, uh, for that, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do because I put some fuel on there and on the bushings and uh, tried to burn those. Uh, and it's got me nowhere. So <clears throat> right now I'm trying to focus on this and then, probably, and then figure out what I'm going to do about that grease over there. So on both ends. Um, I have an idea. I was planning on possibly doing it today. Uh, I'll probably do it later tonight. See uh, how cold it gets uh, after work. Right now I'm trying to do this uh, while I'm on lunch. So. so this one's almost done. Uh, I'm trying to get it as crispy as possible so I can just go ahead and use a flat hand and try to break it down. Uh, one of them's already done. Uh, as you can see, this little, little guy right here. That one's almost done. I'm just trying to get it more burnt a little bit just because the bottom part of it was not uh, was not burning or coming off. So this should be good to go. So what I do is I usually just hold on to it, use a wire brush, scrape off. I need a uh, rubber left on this and then it should look like that last piece that I showed you guys. Um, it's a long process. It takes a while. It, you know, it smells really bad up here. Uh, it smells like rubber, obviously, because you're burning bushings. Um, take about 30 minutes or so for it to for all this to actually from start to beginning, uh, to start to end, I should say. So, just to give you guys an idea how this is done. Uh, but for the control arms, I gotta figure out a solution for that. So guys, this is what it should look like somewhat. Uh, I got majority of the bushing, uh, bushing out of this pieces. Uh, there's still a little bit of rubber on there. Uh, I will, what's it called? Get this on the white scrape and then probably scrape it off and then clean it as much as I can um, off this. Um, but yeah, just to get an idea, this is what uh, the end result somewhat should look like. Um, I'm sure this is probably <laughs> burning and it's probably not the correct way of doing this, uh, or maybe it is. Uh, if there's any other better way that you guys do it, um, and would like to share it, that'd be great. Uh, but this is where, uh, this is the way that I've done three times, including this. So, and it's worked out fine for me. Uh, and then I got to figure out a solution for those two, uh, PL bushings, um, I really got to get those out uh, and I got to figure out how to get those out because they're in there and they're crisp and they're, they ain't moving. Uh, and then tomorrow I might try something new on this and then we'll see what happens. So it'll be on the same video. I'll give you guys an update uh, when this, when I start doing this. So I showed you guys how to get the bushing out. Basically light, the, uh, light these bitches on fire for about a good 20, 30 minutes. Let it burn and get it crispy. And then from there, I told you to use uh, a wire brush, uh, something very similar to this. 
So this is the best way to get rest of the rubber out um, and then uh, have it very clean um, the piece to be able to go ahead and put the other bushing on. So I just want to show you guys a, a comparison. I just got one done. Um, as you can see, this is like the one that I haven't, you know, got it fully clean. This is just basically, you know, the bushing got burnt uh, enough where I can just go ahead and remove the material off it. And then obviously there's going to be some residue, right? So this is one I just got done. It's clean, right? This is how I would prefer to have a new bushings to be installed um i got the back cleaned a little bit um but this is where you want to have pretty much everything cleaned up so i want to show you guys exactly what i do i, I have a vice grip uh how do i recommend you guys to have one of these this i got this from harbor freight even though yesterday i complained about the other material uh, at all no from harbor freight but um this is a six inch uh so what i do is i go ahead and uh get this locked in here and then i start using the wire brush so this is gonna get a little messy so um just be aware of it All right, guys, so <clears throat> this is basically me going through, um, just, you know, going by one, uh, one side by one side at a time. And this is how it's going to look, um, just like the other one that I showed you guys. Um, I am going to go back a little bit and um, clean it up a little bit more, um, see if I can get, you know, a little bit of some of this little stuff out. But you guys get the idea. Um yeah they look pretty much uh like factory brand new almost um i do want to get the back side of it um just to you know, clean it up a little bit just so you know obviously it's going on my self frame that i'm you know redoing stuff so just take your time with it clean it as much as possible um 
So just to show you guys in comparison. Oh, look at that. I still got two more to go. Uh, should take me about, what, five minutes, five, ten minutes to do this. So. All right, so all four of them are done. Um, cleaned up pretty good. Uh, they look almost uh, new-ish. They're still a little bit stained. But, I mean, it's clean as much as I can get. Um, so that the bushing, the new bushings can, you know, sit properly. And they should be able to. So, for those who might be wondering, like, hey, what kind of brush do you use? I have a, I got these brushes from uh, Harbor Freight. So, and then you got this one right here. So, I used mostly of this. And then for, like, the ones that weren't coming off, I used a small one. Or sometimes you can even use the medium one uh, just to get in there. And for the drill, I do have two separate drills. One's from uh, Harbor Freight uh that has a tendency to die quick and then i bought this milwaukee a while back and this has been really good and i had the battery charged fully so just doing this the battery's at two now so i'm gonna probably charge it tomorrow morning so yeah uh this is done uh the next step to do for me is to be able to go ahead and uh, install the bushings which i probably won't be doing it tonight what i'll be doing is I'm letting the oven cleaner uh, sit on this gunk to, uh, for the overnight and then tomorrow I'm gonna go ahead and spray it with the power wash and it's supposed to be 46 degrees somewhat so it should be cold. Um, why oven cleaner? Uh, Zach Dini uh, from Texas uh, who is the CEO for um, EMU, EMU, the ECU, uh, has used uh, heavy duty uh, or oven cleaner, I should say, with the brake cleaner, and I heard it actually helps clean up some stuff. Uh, so I'm hoping that maybe tomorrow that uh, some of the stuff um, does come off, that where I um, don't have to, you know, stress too much about the grease. So let's see what happens tomorrow. I'm gonna let, I have sprayed it already a couple of hours ago. I'm gonna spray it tomorrow again, and then uh, let it sit for about five, ten minutes, and then I'm gonna spray it and see how much of it comes off. If it does come off, great. If it doesn't come off. Um, We'll see what happens. I might just clean it up by hand a little bit and then I'm just gonna go ahead and paint it. Uh, that's the reason why I have the engine stand out so I can go ahead and hook that engine stand to this and then, uh, I'm sorry, the hoist, uh, hoist, engine hoist uh, out so I can go ahead and hook it up and then lift this bitch and go ahead and paint it. Um, and then for us, those control arms, the bushings, they're not coming off. I tried burning them, I tried again burning them off camera and um, got no luck with it. So I'm giving it to my buddy Art. Uh, he's gonna try to see if he can get it out for me, which I'm pretty sure he can, he, he's going to be able to. And then he's probably gonna laugh at my face that he was able to do it and I can't. So I'm waiting for that to happen. But yeah, guys, that's just an update. I'll have uh, more videos to come. Uh, I guess I'll record you guys a little bit of whatever happens with this uh, outcome tomorrow. All right, stay tuned. What's up guys? Um, so continuation of the last uh, parts of the video, um, since this is all gonna be an all one long video. Um, I went to the hand, uh, I went ahead and painted uh, the subframe. Um, to start off one is um, the last part that I, uh, before this is me explaining to you guys about the oven cleaner and the brake cleaner which i did and this morning i went ahead and uh, sprayed more and power washed it and a lot of it came off uh which was good uh it was it got clean as as much as i like and then i just went ahead used the wire brush and just got a little bit of residue out uh except this little bar right here so this i'm actually going to just take it out and do it myself that's not a it's not a hard thing to do it's just because i wanted to use it for this um and i just didn't have time to clean that up but went ahead and um painted this uh what i use for paint uh somebody on facebook a while back had posted this can spray uh years ago and i used it on uh two projects ago it was on an 87 super that i did and um it turned out pretty well uh so i went ahead painted it and the product is is this appliance epoxy 
and uh, I had messaged him before I bought went and bought it again is if, if it was still good on the suffering he said it was actually looking the way it was done when I did it so um, and somebody else had done this uh, on Facebook when I had uh, asked about suffering uh, a while back about painting and stuff so uh, I'm gonna give it a try um, as you can see, I have it painted and I have my heater on blast, uh, just to warm up the garage a little bit, just so it dries. Uh, I went ahead and, you know, obviously painted the shit out of it. And, um, I think it's somewhat good, uh, or okay. I'm not too like picky about how this will look, um, as in, uh, detail wise, like, you know, I know there's just a little bit of, uh, haziness here and there i could have wire brushed in and sanded it down a little bit but um if i was concerned about all that i would have just um uh, got this power coated but i like i mentioned i'm not trying to waste time um that's going to take a couple of weeks and i don't have time for this to be delaying because my next step is to send that engine bay down tomorrow and then i'm going to actually try to attempt to paint that i'm actually going to go to an automotive paint shop and then try to uh get some paint uh black paint so stay tuned for that and so i'm gonna let this dry show you guys exactly how it will turn out um hopefully it turns out good uh and then when that's done then i will go ahead and show you guys how to install bushings on to the subframe it's pretty easy um show you guys exactly how to install it on those uh the pieces and then i'll show you exactly how to install it on here it's very simple um and we'll go from there and then i'm hoping to go ahead and install this uh soon the suffering back on to the engine bay once i have the engine bay painted um because i still want to have enough space to work around and then um so gotta take the fuel lines out the return line the, and the uh the regulator and then um sand this down completely air pro uh, use the air gun and then blow the dust as much as possible out and then smooth it out and then go and spray it um we'll see how it all comes out too uh if it looks nice it looks nice if it doesn't then it is what it is at this point and then i'll go and install the subframes and everything else uh the lower control arms i dropped it off in the machine shop uh along with the spindles i was planning on doing the bushings and i was gonna have my buddy art do it but i um He's got his own cars that he needs to finish, and I'm not trying to bug him and kill, take away some time away from him. So I decided to drop it off the machine shop. So I'm just waiting on the machine shop to get, let me know about the bearings once they replace it, and then also the bushings once they take it out. So, and I'll show you guys exactly, exactly how to put those bushings back on and along with the line bolts. That's the next plan um, once I get this all installed onto the car and this is all done. Because my goal is by end of the year, before end of the year, I want to get the motor and the trans back into the car. I do have to bang the tunnel. Uh, and uh, I'll show you guys exactly where to bang the tunnel. I have a picture from Jason, uh, a guy from New York, who I sent uh, a picture of exactly where you have to bang. Um, that's not going to be fun. So it's the upper part and then sides that I have to bang. So I'll show you guys exactly where you know, I need to be banged before I went, go ahead and paint this just so that it. Uh, uh, I don't have to do this after it's painted. So um yeah that's basically what it is um i don't have anything else to talk about besides those items um stay tuned i will show you guys exactly how to install the bushings and how to install the subframe back into the car and obviously everything else since i didn't show you guys exactly how it all got taken out i will show you guys how it's installed back into the car so that should be fun so stay tuned uh for more parts